What's going on guys? This is Jurified here and today we're going to do an introduction to Arc. Now I'm going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to cut it up into 10 minute videos and we're just going to jump straight in and try to figure out how to play the game and I'll let you guys know what I'm doing and how to do it. So straight off I'm just going to choose a random character. Um, normally I go with number 4 and then I'm just going to choose Raiden as my survivor name. Um, you can play around with these sliders if you want to create someone or something that looks a bit different. Again, um, it really doesn't matter. This is just your look, but you can see. Let's just give him big hands and where is his feet? Um, foot size, massive feet as well. Neck size. Wow. All right, but yeah, you can yeah you can see you can have a decent amount of fun playing around in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into, looks like South Zone 1 is selected. I've started in the South, south before, so um, it'll be familiar. So what I might do is go to the North this time. So let's go to zone, North Zone 2 and create Raiden, our new survivor. So I, for this, uh, for demonstration purposes only, I am playing on a PvE server at the moment. Um, we're going to do this starting in the dark okay so the first things that you want to do is go and get berries and wood so straight away I can see there's stone on the ground which I'm going to collect um, and I'm going to collect the bushes here so you may hear a lot of clicking that's because I've got a mechanical keyboard um, if you have any issues with it, let me know and I can adjust the audio levels with that. Um, I am doing this live, so I like to do this live. What we're going to do is collect all this stuff here and then start smashing down some trees. Now, obviously the audio um, of this is going to be a bit funny, but what you do need to do is punch some trees down first. Um, Open your inventory, uh, mindset to tab, I believe it is default to I, and V is your crafting. So what is this screen here? What do you see here? In the top left, you see your craftables. This is the current engrams that you have unlocked. You get start off with a pickaxe, which is very basic. It shows you durability and weapon damage, and a torch, very basic. It also shows your crafting requirements. So I still need seven more thatch for the, to create a pickaxe and one flint to create this torch. You've got the very basic uh, inventory system here. One two zero is where you would hold your items, as well as you can creating your own new folders to set up um, certain items in as well. So this is my current inventory. You get some cool skin stuff at the beginning, and this is the stuff I picked up so far, as well as your specimen implant, which is basically that little thing that's in your arm. So. On the right here, we have a survivor page. This basically shows you the dossier of all the things that you've unlocked so far. And you can go and view the dossier. So the things that you do, uh, that you kill or tame uh, will show up here. So here you can see kill to unlock, tame to unlock, tame to unlock. So you can kill and tame to unlock these certain features, dossiers, sorry. And it just gives you a little rundown on what the creature is. Species, time, diet, and te temperament. Okay, you've also got tribes, which I won't jump into today, but you can have some decent amount of fun with tribes. Yeah, character stats you do have a Raiden level 1, armor 0, hyperthermal insulation, and hyperthermal insulation again. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I am currently. The North East Shores region and the Spawn East Zone 1. Uh, time of day, 805 is how many days, I believe? I'm not 100% sure on that one. And this is your XP bar, as well as engrams, which we'll jump into in a sec. But down here, what we have is your stats. Tapor is basically how much health, not health, sorry, how much you have before you are 
unconscious. The next thing, the next major thing is engrams. And then just imagine engrams as your crafting materials, crafting recipes, sorry. You unlock these crafting recipes as you level up, you get engram points. And as you level up, you get to spend your points to upgrade your health, stamina, oxygen, and this list down here. So you can create a very unique character, one that's actually quite different to others. So I'm just going to continue to punching down these trees, ones that I can see, and collect some thatch. So I might die a little bit here, just so I can get the thatch, but I need two more. And obviously you can see it gets quite dark in game, so I recommend either having a torch or what's uh, most competitive players tend to do is they adjust their uh, gamma setting on their graphics card. Now that um, I can show you in another video of how I do it and how others do it and then you know you can you can see a bit more in the dark but for now I'm just doing the very basics of arc and how to start off. So I've just leveled up there. I've also just crafted my... Don't worry, he's a herbivore, he'll be fine. I've also just crafted my pickaxe, so I'm getting a lot of wood and thatch a lot faster. But as you can see, I've leveled up, and you can see I can select one of these here to then increase. For now, I'm going to increase my stamina. The main reason is because I need to uh, have it a bit more. And then the next thing I want is a, a campfire and a hatchet. Now this is personal preference, but I always start with these two mainly because I can cook food and then I can get more wood quicker. So you can see the ingram points here. I believe I had I had eight, and I've used six. And you can see as you go down the ingrams, um, you need a certain level to unlock them. I'm currently level two, and you also need a, a certain amount of ingram points. So uh, you can see the bar go up as well. Which is also cool. Now, on the on the bottom right hand side, you would see down in this in the corner there, um, the top one is your XP. The second one is weight. Then you've got your water and then your food. So it looks like I'm running out a little bit on food. So what I'll do is I'm going to just eat the berries that I picked up. Now you can do it multiple ways. You can do what I just did then and drag it into your bar and then. You spam your buttons or you can in your inventory click use item. Now you might notice that I still have a narco berry and stim berry. What I'd recommend is reading what they say. So a stim berry, sorry, a stim berry basically increases your stamina but and, and you lose torpidity which is your um, ability to stay conscious but you lose a lot of water, a lot of thirst and gain a lot of thirst, sorry. Whereas the narco berry puts you to sleep. So the narco berries is what we'll use later to tame some dinosaurs. So because it's quite dark, what I'm going to do is try and get some light going here. So I need one flint. Now, the thing about Ark is that you can technically knock down anything that you see. Besides, the, the, I guess, the land mass, the rocks and stones and trees, you can knock everything. So I just got some flint there, and I'm just going to craft me a a hatchet and a torch. So once that's done, I'll put that there and I'll grab the next one and go there. So with this light, you can see how dark it gets. Oh, brilliant. That is not one that I can pick up. So for those people who don't know um, and what the basics are. I'll cover this in another video, but basically they are supply crates. Um, different colors represent different levels that you can get. Oh, that's a mammoth. And that's a harness on... Wow, so that's that's someone's... Um, that might be this, this group here. Griggity gods. Feel my parasol for the green. So parasols are usually sort of the first ones that you can unlock. 
These guys, I believe, tamed that as well, which scared the hell out of me. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a place to set up. Now, thing to note, you can collect berries and um, pick up things when you have a torch open uh, on in your right hand. But for some reason, at this point, you cannot collect stuff when you have a pickaxe or hatchet. Um, so I'm just going to go into the woods and collect the berries a bit and then go to hall to find a place that I can set up a little base. Um, now the other thing to level up pretty quick at the beginning is collect berries. Um, crafting later on will give you a lot more um, a lot more experience but for the beginners um, before you hit level 10 I'd recommend collecting berries, chopping trees down and hitting stones. And as you play, you'll get a bit more of an idea of your location in the game and how to do everything else in the game. Okay. So it is becoming lighter. You can see sort of the supply crates dropping all over the place. It's a mountain just there, which would have um, some resources on it that you would use later. Um, and there is a dodo just there. The only issue is I can't see it. So what I'm going to do is actually just use my fire to hit it. Because the dodo, especially the low level dodos, aren't that strong. So you can see it there, I can drag the body and it actually decomposes. So you have five minutes to you do something to the body before it just deletes itself off the, off the arc. So I'm just going to use my hatchet to collect um, the resources off of it. Take note as well that some of the some of the dinosaurs um, higher up actually have inventories, so you can, when they're dead, um, access the inventory and potentially get some certain items and goods off of it. Okay, that looks like something big eating something else, and it is a T Rex eating a Stegosaurus. So I am going to go away and it has believe it has seen me so let's just keep running now obviously the arc survival evolved is the game uh, and surviving is what you have to do this is going to be a bit difficult um, we are getting away so we're pretty fine but my objective to show you guys is to basically build a thatch base and then we can move on from there. So as you can note, um, right now I can't run. The main reason is because my stamina bar in the bottom right is depleted. Meaning, you know, you obviously can't do that. You can't, you can't run. Um, you can, you also defecate, <laughs> which means you'll have poo lying underneath you somewhere, which you can pick up and later on use for other purposes. And what looks good is here, I, there is a fire. So I'm just going to access this fire, and there's wood and spoiled meat, unfortunately, in there. I won't need spoiled meat for now, but what I'll do is just eat these berries. Now I recommend going into inventory and using the item because you don't get the uh, audio repeat. Um, what I just did there was drop an item. So I dropped the spoiled meat. Um, you click and drag onto over the drop bit. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you can also see that this does now have a spoil underneath it um, and a decomposition time. So the reason I'm staying near the fire is because of heat and you can also see the T-Rex is slowly heading this way. So we're going to try to get away from the, from this Rex um, and maybe go up into that forest up there. There is this pretty decent cavern here with a lot of Triceratops and a Stegosaurus. I am dehydrated. That is not good. I should probably go get my dehydration back up before I run away. So I saw there was um, there was some water over here, so I'm going to go to the water. The only issue is this guy's running from something, but what is it? 
I need to stop. Oh my gosh, scared me. All right. So now you have to note that there are fish uh, that can eat you. the piranhas can eat you. So you have to be careful when in the water because some there may be piranhas. So I'm just at the moment I'm just trying to get under the water because once you're underwater, basically what happens is you will gain your regain your hydration. Oh my gosh, that's another carnivore, and I think he spotted me. So, this is very dangerous right now. I'm going to keep playing and I will come back to you guys with a more of a finished base. My challenge to you is to build up your thatch base and see how you go. You can pause the video, come back and see how I built mine and I will show you how I did that. I'll collect the resources for you. So instead of seeing how I collect the resources, you can uh, skip ahead and I'll uh, set, set that up. Okay, we'll be back.